Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. Colorize AI tools add color to vintage black and white photos, but you can do so much more with the artificial intelligence behind Colorize. I don't work with vintage images, so let's hack the AI technology and see what it can do for your modern photos and AI generated images. In this video, we'll explore what it means to colorize a photo. I'll show you how to use the Colorize AI neural filter in Photoshop, and then I'll show you two Colorize AI apps that blow Photoshop out of the water. A century ago, before color film was widely used, the only way to get color into an image was to paint it on with a paintbrush. As you might guess, this process was slow and tedious. Colorize AI was a great invention. It made colorizing of black and white photos much faster, and the colors were more integrated into the image. But only if you're not hung up on correct coloring. Colorizing was never real. The artist painting the image may never have seen the place or the person. Colorize AI tools are super useful if you have a lot of old photographs, but the AI is only guessing at what colors might be natural. And sometimes it makes some creative choices. Colorize AI is a powerful artistic tool if you're not tied to the colors of real life. Let the AI choose the colors and shade the gradations. I stripped the color out of this portrait, then ran it through Photoshop's Colorize Neural Filter. Compare it to the real photograph. The colors in the AI version are so much more interesting than real life. There's interesting color gradation and it toned down the gold. Once you get over the idea that colorization is correct, you can move on to thinking of colorization as artistic. And that's where the fun begins. We're going to start with Photoshop's Colorize AI Neural Filter. I did a tutorial about how to use neural filters when they first came out a few years ago. In another video, we looked at Style Transfer AI and the alternatives like Night Cafe. Let's see how Adobe's Colorize AI stacks up against the competition. Adding color to vintage images is what this tool is designed to do. So let's see how Photoshop handles this collage of vintage photographs. Open a black and white photo in Photoshop. Now go to the Filter drop-down menu. Open Neural Filters. This will open a new window. Turn on the Colorize filter. The tool will get right to work. You will see the background start to change. You've got some presets to work with, and you'll see that it, as you click them, it will update the photo in the background. We're going to use focal points to designate a color. We're gonna change this uh, guy's jacket to a purple color. Place the color where you want it, and you can change the strength of the color. When you're happy with the image, click OK. It did a pretty good job with a wide selection of colors. I took this photo at the Apple Store in New York City. I liked the reflections on the mirrors and the glass, but the day was really gray, and no matter what I did with the colors, I didn't like it. Colorize AI punched up the colors and made them artistic, if not real. Photoshop isn't the only game in town when it comes to colorizing images. It's not even my top choice. It's time for me to reveal the top colorizing AI apps. There are only two. I would have had more, but none of the others even hold a candle to these two. So I'll skip the countdown from 10 and start with the runner up. Colorize AI is a feature on MyHeritage, a genealogy website. Log in and there's a limited free trial. The AI behind MyHeritage is Deoldify, which powers other colorization apps. But MyHeritage pushes the AI, and you might just get a surprise. Go to the Photos section and choose Colorize Photos. Upload a photo. I'm going to work with this vintage photo because it was giving Photoshop Colorize AI a problem. It'll work for a minute and then you'll get a split screen. You can drag the slider back and forth or you can go toggle back and forth between color and black and white. 
you can also enhance or repair the image if it's needed. When you're finished, you can download your photo. Your images are also kept in your MyHeritage account. Compare the original image with the one colorized in Photoshop. MyHeritage AI is heads and shoulders above Photoshop. MyHeritage incorporates a lot of AI. One of these features is Animate. This uses deep nostalgia AI for the animation. I showed you this feature with a mid-journey AI image, but it also works with vintage photographs. Go to one of your photos in the MyHeritage site. You have some options here, including Repair or Animate. The program gets to work animating the person. It's a little eerie to see someone come to life even if the technology is a little bit glitchy. You can even make that person speak. The AI is a little gimmicky right now, but will probably improve as AI improves. This is a technology to watch. And now for my top choice. My hands down favorite colorizer is Palette FM. Not only is it one of the best, it is quick, easy, and free. Simply drop a file into the program and it gets right to work creating a base palette. You've got quite a few presets to play with. The presets are much more diverse than the ones found in Photoshop. If you scroll over an image, it will tell you the AI prompt for your photo. If you're into text to image generation, knowing how the AI is describing your image is invaluable. Sure, the program can handle vintage photos, but the designers behind Palette FM have a few more tricks up their sleeve. Upload an image. I'm going to use this mid-journey image. I like the shapes, but the colors are a bit blah. I'm not even going to bother to make it a black and white image before I upload it to Palette FM. After the initial processing, click the Edit tool. At the end of the prompt, describe a different color scheme. You can't change the content of the photo, but you can change the colors. I tried vibrant, matte, tropical, and various shades of purple. I even tried the famous Fuji Velvia 50 film color. Palette had no problem. When you run out of ideas, let palette surprise you. This 2D fruity was a nice pop of color. I can use the AI behind Palette FM to quickly change the colors of my image. There's no reason I need to stick with the colors the world gives me. Whether you're working with photos or an imaginary landscape, Colorize AI frees you from the rigid colors of reality. Colorization AI was created to add color to vintage photos but it can be so much more. Share your favorite AI hacks in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making a photo. Let's make something amazing together.